post fight recap Jessica Chavez defends her WBC World Female Flyweight title against Esmeralda Moreno in the rubber band match. Drops her in the seventh and retains, or drops her, but it goes on to a unanimous decision and retains her championship belt. That's the, this is a post-fight recap. Let's get into it right here on Double RT Boxing with Mr. A. Ready, ready, talk that boxing with me, Mr. A. Now, like I said, this was the triple header, the rubber band match between these two. Uh, my first time seeing these two. These girls were getting down. You could tell in the stare down. They had history. They had history and they fought like they had some history. This was a great fight. You know, if you guys want to see some women fighting, some competitive women boxing, this was a good fight right here. Now, round one, Chavez came out with some body. St First 10 seconds of the fight, uh, Chavez coming out like a true champ, starting with that body jab. She went up to the body, and then she went up to the face. They went to 40, 43 seconds, you know, about the 43 second mark. You know, they do some exchanging. And uh, Jessica landed a nice little left hook to the body. That was like the only really good shot of the fight. But after that, about 40 to 30 seconds, like I said, that, that body shot was at 43 seconds. Then from 40 to 30 seconds, she landed some, uh, she landed some more um, hooks to the body. I gave her round one. I gave Jessica round one, two, three, five, six. Yeah, the only, the only rounds I didn't give a... Uh, Jessica was in round four. It's only one. And then round two came on back to the body. Esmeralda was picking up the tempo. She was setting the tempo, but her offense was giving her no results. All she was landing was just jabs. You know? She was trying to get the timing down. She was using the ring, but it just literally was just slapping her. But around the 10 second mark of the round two, uh, she, she just. Caught uh, Jessica off, like she just timed her off, off timed her, bow, nice, nice left jab, caught, snapped uh, Jessica's head back. Round three came in, <coughs> excuse me, round three came in, they're exchanging uh, body hooks, and uh, Esmeralda is missing the hooks, but every time she tries to miss the hook, she kept getting countered with her right, and, and that put, ended up playing a big factor in the latest rounds go like I said round four I gave it to uh Esmeralda her first round and her only round about 135 seconds in the it was starting to get a little rough in round four starting to get I guess Esmeralda knew she was behind started to get that little that grit came out of her that dog that about round 135 she held Jessica behind the head and hit her with a nice uppercut there was a head button in that round uh, round five came on. This is where, uh, to me, Jessica really started to separate herself as champ. She started. She started going counters. She started really timing uh, Jessica pretty good. I mean, Jessica really started timing Esmeralda pretty good. I started doing some counters. She walked her down, then hit the body with thirty seconds left. Then around, and then round six, about one forty-five. Uh, it was a nice left straight by Jessica. Boom. Uh, it snapped uh, Esmeralda's head back. And then every time Esmeralda was trying to like, get, starting to get desperate. And she, she would leap in with a, a lunging left hook. Every time she leaped in, it got blocked. And then bow, just counter with a straight right by uh, Jessica. She do it again. She leap. Boom. Counter with a left hook uppercut. Every time... She leaped it with that left hook. It got blocked and countered with something left. You know, round seven came in. Same thing, that leaping hook kept getting countered. And then around the 7.30 mark in round seven, that leaping hook came. And she, this time she got countered with a left hook. That's it. Jessica will block it and then boom, just throw something. Like basically, it's a, it won't say, it won't say, uh, a counter, but it was basically, uh, I guess you could say a catch and release. You know, she, she caught the punch and bow, released her own. Around 37 mark. And in round seven, she released a hook. Oh, man. And it dropped her. Dropped her good. 
And she got up, like, and like that, the funny part was, she got up, and then while the referee's counting her, giving her her uh, mandatory eight count, she looks over at Jessica, she waves her hand, like, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, then, come on, you know? So the referee gives her eight count. Jessica's like, all right, let's go, and starts uh, sw- just weighing the hooks on her. She backs up, and Jessica's like, I thought you wanted to fight, you know, let's go. And around eight, round nine, the same old thing, just... She's jabbing her, doing doing the body jab, working the body. And every time Esmeralda tried to do that little hook, caught it, released with something, and got countered with a left hook. So from round after the after the knockdowns around eight, nine, and ten, kind of just coasted it out. You know, she did a little body jabs here and there, some jabs. Around ten, Esmeralda tried to come on strong, but she, she she just walked into jabs, walked into body hooks. It was a really good performance by Jessica Chavez. I was like, I was impressed. It's the first time I seen her. I seen her because the fact that I, I uh, as I started this channel and I really do try and cover women's boxing, it's just hard to find the fights on YouTube. I, I came across Jessica's picture a lot, and finally I found I came across her fight on this this one as well. Well worth the coverage, you know. She was if you if you haven't seen Jessica Chavez, she's a little a little something. She's a little tiny flyweight, but she has good boxing skills. She's um she has Nacho in her corner, so you know, yeah, I know he's like a Mexican legend trainer. She, he's part of her team, so go check her out. You know, put yourself on the women's team. You know. And women who will watch this video, I'm taking a guess. Majority women will watch this video for the few views I do get on this. Um, share it to your female boxing friends. Help my channel grow. I appreciate it. You know, trying to get the word out there for some women boxing. You know, if 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 the women can help my channel grow, guys will follow the women. They always do so. If, you know, let's help each other out. Help my channel grow. I try my best as a boxing channel to promote women's boxing. Women's boxing is only going to make boxing as, as a general grow. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Let's do it as a team. This is Mr. A and Double RT Boxing saying Jessica Science Chavez. Jessica Chavez gets a unanimous decision. Knocking, knocking down Moreno in the seventh round, and then just coaches onto an easy victory to retain her WBC World Female Flyweight title. Mister A's out, saying thank you for the support. Keep on, keep on watching. Thank you guys.